Hey, God bless you, friends. Rob Wood or Rob Wood Ministries. I want to do a Christian perspective and a response to a show a young man recently did on YouTube called God is Angry. Now, just hang with me. Don't flip me off. Don't turn me off. Give it a shot. Give it a chance. The reality, my friend, is read my lips. God is not angry. And God is not angry with you. And I can prove it to you through the Word of God. I can prove it to you to a personal testimony how God reached down in my heart through His love. We don't serve an angry God, my friends. He's not on some throne in heaven and He's waiting to whack you over the head with a hammer when you mess up. The God I serve, the God of the Bible, Jesus, my friends, is a God of compassion, love, mercy, and grace. God loves you, my friend. He wants to come and wrap his arms around you, and he proved it to you by sending Jesus to die on the cross in your place. You know, a simple scripture in the book of John in the New Testament, third chapter, 16th verse, simply states, For God so loved the world. That's you, my friends. That's me. For God so loved you that he gave his only son. And the Son came out of free will, willingly. God, for so loved the world, He gave His only Son, that if you would believe in Jesus, you would not perish, you'd have everlasting life. Now, there is a righteous anger to God. There's a righteous, just anger that God feels because He loves sinners, but He's displeased with sin. So the reality is, is Christ came out of mercy, Jesus came out of compassion. Jesus came out of love. The cross, my friends, spells love. Now, I did a message also on YouTube, the search Rob Wood 1, R-O-B-B Wood, the number one, entitled Love is the Language of Heaven. I want you to check it out. But the reality is, is my response to that video is, the young man has some type of revelation to the reality that God does exist But towards the end, he goes into this fire and brimstone, this wrath. The Bible clearly states, for he has not appointed his children to wrath. Now, if you're an unbeliever and you don't accept Jesus, then you're going to place yourself under judgment and under wrath. But if you're a child of God, if you've accepted Christ and you realize Jesus is the only way, Because Christ said, Jesus said in the Bible, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. In other words, when if you want to get to the Father, you got to go through Christ. He's the gate. My friend, when you take your last breath, the elevator either goes up or down. There's life insurance and there's fire insurance. Now, let me just read this to you out of the book of Ephesians, and you can judge this for yourself. It says that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love. Does that sound like an angry God to you? I mean, come on, man. Being rooted and grounded in love, that you may be able to comprehend what is the width, length, depth, and height to know the love of Christ, which surpasses knowledge. God wants us to find out Not how much we are supposed to love Him, but how much He has already loved us. You see, I've always been convinced, out of all of the billions of people in the world, God loves me the most, and I'm His favorite. Now, it may sound haughty to you, but you have got to also have that same revelation, and God's got to convince you of that. Because if God can convince you of that simple fact that He loves you the most, that He cares about you, that if you were the only one, Jesus would have done what He did just for you. If He could convince you of that, your behavior will so change and your life will be so enlightened that you will realize you have value and acceptance. Another scripture uh, in the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 35 in the New Testament, simply states, It says, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, distress, persecution? And it goes on to say, for I am persuaded that neither death nor life, things present or things to come, height nor depth, any shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. My friends, nothing can separate you 
from the love of Jesus. Hey, if you've never accepted Christ into your heart, it's not difficult. You just got to realize that you're born separated from God and salvation is a gift. A gift is only a gift unless it's free. You know, if someone gives you a gift and they say, you got to give me $5 a week for five years, that's not a gift. It's a free gift. What Jesus did on the cross is he paid in full our sin debt. We're all born separated from God. The Bible says Jesus is the mediator between God and man. He's the bridge, my friends. Just say this simple prayer. Say, Jesus, come into my life. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. And I want to pray for you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Wrap your loving arms around everyone that's witnessing or seeing this YouTube video, Father, that you're not angry with them. You love them. God is not angry, my friends. He's a God of love, compassion, kindness, mercy, and grace. He loves you with an everlasting love. Give him a chance and allow him to prove to you how much he does care and love about you. Remember, God's not angry with you, my friends. He loves you in Jesus' name. Many of the videos, the search Rob with one, Rob with two Bs. God bless you in Jesus' name, friends.